Hello everyone and welcome to day one of my 12 days of Christmas series. My name is Melanie Graves and I am so excited and thankful to have you here. Today is a very special day because we will be talking about this beautiful Christmas tree. This year, my 12 days of Christmas series is extra special because it's sponsored by a brand that's been a longtime supporter of my channel, Balsam Hill. I'm thrilled to bring you a stunning centerpiece for the holiday season, the 12 foot frosted Yukon spruce. As an added bonus today, I'll be sharing some top secrets that the pros don't like to share. Ready? Let's go. What attracted me to the Yukon spruce is that it's not your typical Christmas tree. It's tall, it's elegant, and it's a bit unique in shape, which makes it look very realistic. So today I'm going to show you how to professionally decorate this beauty and share some tips on making it truly shine. One tip that many pros won't tell you is all about creating balance in your tree. And there are a couple ways that you can do that. It's really all about ornament placement. You see a lot of professionals will start decorating from inside of the tree and work their way out, which I've told you once or twice before. Um, but this is a way that you can create balance no matter what the shape of the tree looks like. You can see in here, I've got some larger ornaments. And then as we go out and we extend out towards the tips, I've got my more shapely and elongated ornaments. It creates a sense of overall balance and harmony throughout the tree from top to bottom. It also gives your tree depth and dimension and allows it to shine all the way from the inside out. Now let's talk about the frosting on this tree. It adds a touch of elegance and a winter wonderland feel. So I opted for silver and blue ornaments, more jewel tones than traditional colors to complement the frost and create a cohesive look. These gorgeous ornaments were definitely the inspiration for this tree. Another secret that the pros use is all about layered lighting. Consider incorporating micro LED lights with diffused ambient lighting to create a magical scene on your tree. I only have one layer of lighting in this tree, but you've seen me layer lighting in the past using um, artificial candlelight in the tree to give it movement. Just a great way to make your tree stand out. Lastly, let me share one more decorating secret with you and it's called hidden filters. Professionals use hidden filters to give the tree a fuller look without adding more ornaments. These filters can include natural looking picks, floral sprays, or extra greenery strategically placed to create an opulent, luxurious appearance. Remember, decorating a tree is an art, so trust your instincts and don't be afraid to adjust as you go along. The goal is to create a tree that brings you joy and magic and makes you happy in your home. Now, won't you join me for a little decorate with me, a look behind the scenes and a tour so you can see how everything turned out from start to finish. Guess who's back? Back again. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. <laughs> so I'm bringing her back again. What is this, the third year in a row? Um, but so my concept is the G at the head, and then she's gonna have a big old sash, like a big old pretty bow, right? So um, what I'm trying to decide though, so this is the new ribbon this year um and i i was so attracted because in some time sometimes certain lights she she shows lavender and then other lights she shows kind of more gray but what i'd like to do y'all remember that that um mushroom colored duchess satin ribbon from last year i saved all those tails and i'm trying to see if i can just incorporate it in i'm not sold on the silver just yet I may switch that out for gold, 
Um, but yeah, so this is what we're gonna play around with at the top of the tree to have her a little, little neck sash on. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay, when I went up to put this on the tree, I don't have much of an anchor like in the middle, not that it makes that big of a difference because it's a 12 foot tree, nobody's gonna see it. But I pulled out a cocktail ring that I haven't worn in <laughs> forever. It's like my Vegas ring. And I'm gonna smack her right dab in the middle of this bow. Um, just to say, hey, we fancy, okay? All right. <laughs> Just have to remember to get it back at the end of the season. You guys have to remind me, okay? <laughs> Now, if you've made it this far in the video, I have a special treat for you. Remember how I said earlier that those beautiful mercury glass ornaments, the blue ones, are the ones that inspired the look for this year's tree? Well, I love them so much, I have an extra set of jumbo-sized mercury glass ornaments from Balsam Hill for one of you. If you're participating in the giveaway, go ahead and leave your answer in the comments below. I will announce the winner in tomorrow's video. I hope you've enjoyed the first day of our 12 Days of Christmas series. I'd like to extend a sincere thank you to today's video sponsor, Balsam Hill, for being such a huge supporter of this channel. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, love and peace.